Now this will send it to a server for processing and the clear audio will come back to the device. खाने के लिए क्या बना है आप कितने साल के हो क्या आपने पौधों को पानी दे दिया क्या आपको वो सुनाई दे रहा है Hello and welcome to the print This is Akanksha Mishra and today we are at the Shiv Nadar School in Gurgaon where we are sitting with 16 year old student Pranit Khetan. He has just developed a one of its kind automatic speech recognition device called ParaSpeak. The unique thing about this device which can recognize slurred speech from patients suffering from Parkinson's or strokes is that it doesn't just restrict itself to English. It's also Hindi language accessible. So Pranit, can you tell us a little bit about ParaSpeak and how did you first get the idea to make this device? So our school took us to a field trip to a paralysis care center and over there I saw the challenges in communication the patients faced right with paralysis, Parkinson's, COPD they were unable to express their feelings to those around them and those around them were unable to understand what they were saying. It was a real breakdown in communication and it also caused many of these patients to withdraw into themselves emotionally and psychologically. So I felt that if there was some kind of machine learning system which was able to understand and clarify what these patients are saying, that would be an excellent product and an excellent invention. Great. And now, automatic speech recognition systems um, are a technology that have been used before. How is Paraspeak different? Can you um, walk us through the process of making that and what were some of the things you kept in mind while you were working on it? So automatic speech recognition is a very umbrella term. There are so many things inside of it, so many different systems which can be made, so many different techniques and tools. In the case of Paraspeak, um, I started off with developing my own data collection toolkit. Using this toolkit, I went out to two paralysis care centers. Um, one of them was a homeless care center. And I was able to collect 42 minutes of data from 28 patients. So how the process would work was that I would prompt the patient to say something. And whatever the patient said, that would be my audio recording. And that would be the sample on the basis of which my AI model was trained. Once I had all of these samples, I performed certain algorithmic techniques to enhance the amount of audio in my data set and to enhance the quality of my data set. And I trained an automatic speech recognition model on this data. After I had my ASR model ready, I created a physical device for deployment purposes where a patient would be able to speak into the device and the device would process and speak out clear speech for them. Um, that's how the process for developing Paraspeak worked. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about why you decided to make it accessible for Hindi language. So in disaster research in general, um, there isn't too much of a focus on languages where there's a minimal amount of data available. So there's no currently publicly available data set of Hindi disastrous speech on the basis of which these AI models can be trained. So I had to make one for myself. Um, this also needs to be done in all kinds of vernacular languages in India, which I hope to target next. Um, these are in like they are termed as low resource languages where there isn't too much data available. Pranith had developed an early interest in robotics and AI since he was in the sixth grade. And that is what led to his interest in developing this device. His device Paraspeak was selected as a top 10 finalist in the 2024 Initiative for Research and Innovation in STEM, IRIS, which is India's national level fair. So I've been working on this since May 2024, so it's been more than a year now. Um, I have used a lot of technologies and my primary, mot my primary motivation for machine learning and AI was that I saw how AI can improve people's lives, improve inclusivity, improve, improve accessibility and create a tangible human impact, which is I think what inspired me to work on this project. The project uh, Paraspeak also recently went to the US to participate in a competition. Can you tell us about that? So this competition is called the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Um, it's the world's largest pre-collegiate science fair. So around 1600 finalists from 63 countries go there. And uh, you also received a recognition there, right? Uh, yes, I received fourth place in biomedical engineering. Sitting in the IT lab in his school, Pranit also spoke about the support he received from his teachers, especially his mentor Nitesh Kumar, who teaches him robotics at the school. He developed his fully made prototype by December 2024. 
ओके सो दिस इज माई टाइनी वेरेबल डिवाइस इट कैन बी वोन अराउंड द नेक लाइक सो राइट नाउ आई हैव सम डेमो सैम्पल्स लोडेड अप ऑन दिस स्पीकर विच आई विल इनपुट इन टू द डिवाइस Now the device will process this. क्या आपने पौधों को पानी दे दिया क्या आपको वो सुनाई दे रहा है खाने के लिए क्या बना है आप कितने साल के हो एंड दैट वॉज कम्प्लीटली एक्यूरेट इन दिस केस so that's how that's a demonstration of how the device works right a patient will record something and speak into the device the device will process it through a server through some cloud uh, ai applications and then the audio will come back and the device will play it out for everyone to hear yes the school has a really conducive environment for extra curriculars and exploration especially in technology and the sciences um but i've also been learning ai robotics coding for a long time on my own since grade 6 uh Apart from that the school was incredibly supportive during the development of this project I worked at the school's IT lab uh, my mentor Mr Nitesh sir he is my teacher here and yeah I think my school was very supportive throughout the entire journey at Shivaji school we run a specific IT curriculum in which we teach student about different fields of uh, computer science that is animation programming robotics uh, sound production and graphic design so basically uh, in grade 10th we do culmination of all whatever student learn in the it bucket in form of capstone project so as a part of capstone project uh, we do certain field visit to some ngos or some centers where student can get some real world problems a part uh, as a part of that a specific capstone project we took uh, pranit to a, a disability center where he has seen some patients who are not able to speak and uh, all of sudden he just came to me and he said like sir why can't we make something that can make this people speak out something so initially it it was a bit uh, very it, it was looking a bit uh, like we were we were not sure that we are able to make this or not but uh, as uh, as long as we started working with the patients and doctors and we got that sort of understanding and because i am also from the technical background so i helped the student uh, like pranit in uh, creating the prototype like uh, whether training a ai model from uh, designing the prototype we helped them he helped him in all the steps while pranit is happy with his achievements he also wants to help develop the device paraspeak and make it accessible to the general public in the market He has already visited some paralysis care centers to help the people there test his device and let him know their experience. He also wants to improve accessibility by making the device cost as low as rupees two thousand and include other vernacular Indian languages in the device too. This is Akanksha Mishra reporting for the print.